Hello and welcome back to Planet Nibiru, where anything is possible. Today, we're looking to some very old and very new, also very weird hybrids that we've never seen before on this channel. For a long time, we've been fascinated by hybrid creatures. Mankind has been creating and attempting to create them for many, many years. Now, seemingly for a variety of reasons, it's come to the forefront once again. From super soldiers to spare parts to just plain old fascination with science and medicine, we have built some of the wildest, craziest, and creepiest things that you can think of. The search for medicines and cures from all kinds of ailments up to and including death has always pushed the limits of man's work. Bound by ethics and driven by need, greed, and curiosity, scientists have paired and spliced their way into the history books. While some of these men have made major breakthroughs, others have seemingly made nightmares. So let's take a look at some of these creations and let you be the judge of which category they should fall into. One of the first major breakthroughs in this field was a monkey head transplant by Dr. Robert White. Dr. White was a controversial American neurosurgeon who performed hundreds of surgical procedures and wrote numerous papers on health and medical ethics. However, he is best known for performing head transplants on live monkeys. After many years of research and preparatory testing on monkeys, he successfully transplanted one monkey head onto the body of another monkey. By cutting the animal's spines and removing their heads and transplanting one onto the other's body, he created a hybrid creature that lived for nine days. With the cranial nerve still intact, supported by the circulatory system of the new body, the monkey could hear, taste, smell, and eat. It could even follow objects with its eyes, showing that it was coherent and indeed alive. Ultimately, the monkey died as the body rejected the transplanted head. White announced that he had planned to perform the same operation on humans one day. He had hoped that he could do a head transplant surgery on physicist Stephen Hawking and even the paralyzed Superman actor Christopher Reeves. Alas, he was unable to perfect the technique enough to be viable to use on humans. A recent hybrid creation is the featherless chicken. Israeli scientists have created featherless chickens. These strange animals are about as weird looking as an animal as you can imagine. They are supposedly cheaper to raise and more environmentally friendly and don't require any feather plucking which makes them quicker and cheaper to get to market. In the search for newer and cheaper ways to create embryonic stem cells, Chinese scientists at the Shanghai University successfully combined rabbit eggs with human cells. These embryos were the first human-animal chimeras to be successfully developed and the embryos were allowed to evolve for several days in a laboratory dish before they were destroyed and the stem cells were harvested. These hybrid embryos contained both human and animal DNA. The experiment was said to be a success as they searched for alternative ways to produce these valuable cells. Vietnamese scientists have created a unique and patented breed of seahorse that is literally worth its weight in gold. Scientists took the fluorescent genes of a jellyfish and inserted it into a tiny grain of gold, which was then injected into the eggs of a seahorse. This glittering gene was absorbed into the cells of the seahorse and they grew into glittering seahorses that shine in the light. While this seems like a lucrative venture to sell glittery pet fish, the scientists were actually testing a technique to replace negative genes with good genes in humans and livestock, and they used these glowing genes and gold because the success would be very, very easy to see. In the 1930s, a young scientist named Vladimir Demikhov designed the first ever cardiac assist machine pump mechanism that was able to take over a heart's cardiac function for a full five and a half hours. Basically, he created the world's first artificial heart. This artificial heart was a truly groundbreaking invention, but Demikhov's research eventually took a different direction when he completed a heart transplant on a dog. Remarkably, the dog survived for five months, and this gave Dr. Demikhov great encouragement to continue his work. He continued performing transplants on dogs, successfully transplanting a lung and the first ever cardiovascular bypass, and he soon became highly respected in the medical community, with many scientists crediting him as having the most significant early impact on the study of heart and lung transplants. To this day, more than any other person in history, he is credited with more scientific research and findings when it comes to early organ transplants than any other scientist. 
despite this pioneering research that probably paved the way for human heart and lung transplants, Demikhov is better remembered for the bizarre creations of living, breathing, two-headed dogs. One day after completing a heart transplant procedure, Demikhov decided to carry out another experiment using the dog's head. He wanted to see if he could keep just the head of the animal alive, so he removed the head and pumped it with oxygen-rich blood and other nutrients in order to feed the brain. Astonishingly, the experiment was successful. Emboldened by his success, he took things a step further, and in the mid-1940s he had developed a technique where he transplanted dogs' heads onto other dogs' bodies. The transplanted heads of the dogs were able to see, eat, and drink, and the dog that was transplanted on also remained alert and stable. Many of the two-headed dogs lived for many months, and even though the burden of the cardiovascular demands on the second head were very, very hard for the original dog to maintain. Eventually, the Soviet Minister of Health reviewed Demikhov's experiments and declared his work was unethical, and he was instructed to stop his research. But Demikhov was addicted, and despite warnings, he continued with his cruel experiments. Eventually, the potentially brilliant scientist was ostracized by the medical community who labeled him a mad scientist and insane. He died broke and penniless at the age of 82. Another patented creation is again another fish who was a cross between the zebra daniel fish and the fluorescent proteins of a jellyfish, and they created the glowfish. Having a pet fish whose DNA is patented and trademarked would be pretty cool to some of us, and that fish is the glowfish. These neon delights glow in various colors as they swim around your aquarium. And believe it or not, they are available in just about every part of the United States except California. Notorious physician Carl August Weinhold carried out a series of macabre experiments on kittens to prove that he could bring animals back from the dead. In something straight out of Pet Cemetery, Weinhold had discovered what he had called biometallic electricity, where he could generate an electrical charge by placing certain metals in contact with each other. He believed that these metals were capable of stimulating nerves and muscles in dead animals, and ultimately humans. In his first experiments, he operated on a three-week-old kitten. After removing its head, the animal died immediately, and he applied an electrical charge to the creature's muscles, and they automatically responded. Thrilled by this response, he then cut out the kitten's spinal cord and filled it with silver and zinc colloids, which he claimed created biometallic electricity that restarted the kitten's heart, and it stood up momentarily before dying for the second time. Weinhold was excited by this response and acquired another kitten. This time, he removed the brain and filled the cavity with the same special liquid. He claimed that the electrically charged cat raised its head and opened its eyes and tried to crawl. It even stood up and jumped before becoming exhausting and collapsing dead. Weinhold maintained that the poor kitten was alive for almost 20 minutes, and he became convinced that this was proof he could bring animals back to life. He conducted many more experiments over the years, but his research soon fell out of favor and interest in his work waned as he was relegated to the history books. While most experiments usually have a very direct purpose, especially when referring to genetically modified animals or hybrids, this is not always the case. In the case of mice, scientists will many times randomly cross mice with a great deal of other animal DNA just to see what happens. In one such case, scientists crossed the DNA of some mice with the DNA of birds. What resulted was a phenomenon called singing mice. These mice chirp and sing like birds. And if that's not amazing enough, when integrated with other normal mice, the normal mice learn to mimic the noises that the singing mice make. Scientists are now trying to learn if the chirps are an actual language with meaning like that of birds, or if the mice are just making random noises by instinct. So what do you guys think of all these crazy hybrids? Are we just fulfilling man's role as the keeper of the planet and the only sentient beings known to exist, or are we playing God where and when we shouldn't? Like all philosophical questions, there are most likely excellent arguments for both sides of the equation. So what are yours? Get in the comment section and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and as always, please like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you guys in the next video.